How are you guys? Are you guys ready for another video? Oh, another video. I've been always wanting to paint an ice cream with tropical flowers around it. So it just reminds me of summer. So since we don't really have a summer, we don't, we don't really have a summer right now. <laughs> I would just have to paint my summer, you know? And I thought this would be the perfect time to paint it and show you kind of the process of how I develop an, a concept. Sometimes I draw whatever I think of it and then draw it on top of the canvas or just there's just many different ways I, I think about it and develop a painting. But this time I'm gonna be using Photoshop to do the image. I'm a attempt, keyword attempt, to paint realistically. Honestly, I don't really, I can't paint realistically as hard as I try. I do have my own personal style of painting. So I hope you guys learn a little couple of tricks and get some little tips. And I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, honey buns. So the first thing I do whenever I'm going to paint something, I do a little sketch of it. I'm gonna use Miss Friendly Google to find a bouquet of flowers that are tropical flowers. Whenever I use images from Google, the first thing I do is click on tools, go to size, and then put it on large. Now Google will recommend you pictures or images that have high resolution, which means that there's more pixels in the image. And when you take it to Photoshop and then print it, you'll see a little bit more detail into the image. And once I found my image, I saved it. Now for the ice cream, I tried really hard to find one with a white background and transparent, so I found this one. Once I found it, I saved it. Bloop. Photoshop time! This is gonna be quick and easy. Since I selected pictures that have the same light direction, I don't have to manipulate the image that much. First, I deleted the white background and then I arranged the images together. Put each image on a separate layer so it's easier to move around and change things. When you're erasing the background, you could either use magic selection and then delete it or you could use an eraser and erase everything that you don't want. The type of brush I use is a circle that has very smooth edges and has an opacity of 100. And for those that don't know much about Adobe Photoshop, basically on this program, you're manipulating images by changing the color or adding a mask to the pixels. Once you're done with the eliminazione e disposizione, save it and print it at max quality. Now that we have it painted, no, not painted, printed. I wish it was painted. We are going to divide this image by 12 squares. So the first thing I did is get the measurements of the photo and then the canvas, divide the width by 3 inches, and divide the height by 4 inches. Max and Ruby, Ruby on Max. Once we're done with that, we move on to the canvas. And the canvas, you basically do the same thing, just different measurements. I really don't know why, but I just started thinking about Max and Ruby and the song is stuck in my head. Did you guys like Max and Ruby? Or was Dora the Explorer Dora more your thing? Just curious. Anyways, we're gonna start drawing the image. And this is the easy part. I'm just kidding, it really isn't. The key thing here is to get the outlines of the image and focus on a square at a time. And don't worry if you don't get it perfect, just get the grand idea on the picture, you know? So, we're gonna start painting. I'm gonna be using oil paint. I'm gonna use permanent red, raw amber, or umber. Ooh, that, that fell on my freaking foot. I'll be using, <laughs> I'll be using titanium white medium yellow and oxide of chromium interesting name All right so i use gamsol by gamblin and this is to thin out the oil whenever you need to clean your brushes or you need to just change the colors with the brushes and then what i do is i put a little just a little bit on uh, plastic i think it's just easier to put in a ziploc bag so maybe later on i could use it again I don't know if that's bad to reuse it. Hmm. 
I'm so excited about these brushes. It's probably like a painter. It's probably an artist thing for to get excited about brushes and probably makeup artists. But I got these new brushes and they're like really like cool. It's like an oil slick kind of look. I like that. It's different. And I have a 100% cotton rag to wipe off the brushes when you change the colors and all that. I think that's it. So I'm gonna start painting now. So last night, my light stand that I used to record fell on my painting and I got the light stand stained with oil paint. I think it's been like three hours that I've been painting this little section and it sucks that it got ruined, but it's fixable. Okay. As you can see, it got smeared here and here since they were freshly painted. Um, but I'll show you guys how to fix it. And then here, oh my god, I got painted right here. Yeah, I guess I will have to live with that. Okay, so you're gonna get a clean brush. Since the paint is still fresh, we can maneuver the paint around. Perfect. Smooth down the edges to one color, add color if you need so, and then now you can start doing the dark values and the highlights. Once you move to another part that's a different color, like here it's white, you'll definitely have to clean the brush before you do so. And for the parts that are completely dry, well, <laughs> you kind of have to paint it again. Do touch-ups on whites and blacks and you should be good. Perfect! 